If you're coming out of the hold, I need a mile facing. Otherwise, we're going to have to start breaking you guys off and sending you back to the lake. No side by side, no on top. I got a little in a half mile south of this. We're off your way. Low in a half mile south of this. Good. I need you to maintain that speed or slower. Actually, pull it back for me. You're eating up for that Cessna just a little bit. Pull it back just a little bit. Follow the railroad track going. Jackson County, that law. Uh, Can't see We're going to go around. For the right down for 2 7. Breaking any of you guys out. We want you guys to get to the show. Find somebody to follow. Find somebody to follow. We're going to 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 find someb
lounging area. We got our boxed wine, very important. Our jet boil that we use to cook these meals. Boil some water, have some rice and chicken. We got our Bustelo coffee. Right here. Most importantly, we have a bathroom. Our little potty. Got our toilet paper, hand sanitizer. We're all set. Our camping site was first come, first serve, kind of like parking at a tailgate. And we ended up in what's called the South 40, a large grass area south of the airport. I don't think we got a premier spot considering we're about one and a half miles from show center, but thankfully all the amenities we needed were located in the South 40 with a constantly running shuttle back and forth to the show. Our first pleasant surprise was an ice delivery cart that took cash, but the real kicker was finding out there were strong Wi-Fi and electric outlets everywhere. Very conveniently located next to the porta potties. We have looks like a hot spot next to the internet. There's some charging stations. Um, there was a couple that just came, plugged in their um, mattress to get it blown up. That's pretty convenient. And not only is it here, but it's every 50 yards. So here's the shower situation. I'm gonna make sure it's as big and of course. Door's <laughs> a little heavy. Ooh. I don't know if this works in the umbrella. Pretty nice. Mirror, shower, seat. The convenience store has shower, flip-flops, more charging stations. Electricity is a beautiful thing. The market. Got ice, coffee, milk, fruit, and eggs. The market had all the things you need for camping, if that's what you want to call this. Toiletries, batteries, shower shoes, coffee, food, drinks. And they're open every day from 6 in the morning till 9 at night. So this is the registration center. So this is the, the South 40. We landed, they just, we followed some guy. I, I wasn't given instructions where to park. I didn't have a choice. I just followed them in the plane. We went all the way back to where our, our camping spot was. We camped there. Someone greeted us and gave us a, like a yellow ticket. With that yellow ticket, we, we walked all the way up. We were, we're only maybe hundred yards away from the plane. We passed all those Wi-Fi spots, the charging stations. There's this like general store here um, that uh, that you can buy. It's like a convenience store. It's really it's awesome. And then, but there's also a little fuel stop, and we'll explain how to get fuel if you need it here. The other, what you do when you register though is you bring your your parking ticket here. You get your Oshkosh um, wristband. If you if you didn't buy tickets already, you can buy the tickets here. You get your tickets and then you get three permits. One for the plane, one for your tent, and one for your cooler. And then once we do that, we come right back here and look over here. This is where the bus picks you up. And the buses come and they'll take you to the main show. It's like super, it's insane. It's not camping, it's very easy. It's awesome. <laughs> all right, so you get all this stuff when you register. This. It's every second. It's crazy. Uh, so you get a campsite registration. You get a another. So this is a camping unit registration. This is an airplane uh, campsite credentials. And then there's a cooler permit. And then you get a gas and a gas flag. All right. So if you want fuel to come by, you take this and you attach it to your propeller. You just put it on top, whatever. And then you take this little yellow flag and you put it in the fuel truck, we'll see it. And they'll come by, they'll read, has your all your information and they'll put however much fuel you want in it. So that's what you do there. Then you have this, this is just shows that you paid for camping. And this, uh, if you're here for less than the full six days you paid, you take it to them. 
and they'll refund you however many days. But this just goes in the front of your plane. Like that. You have a cooler permit and you have a, so you have a cooler out here. Apparently they said that people um, uh, will bring their cooler in, like people who didn't fly in. Once their cooler is empty, they just leave the cooler. So security clears coolers that aren't permanent. So you just stick that on your cooler. And this is your campsite and it says attach it to your campsite. There's a little sticker on the back. I'm probably gonna do more than just the sticker. I'm probably, I'm gonna find a way to secure it, but you stick that on your camp. And then you get a wrist thing. So that's everything. That's, this is all the stuff I didn't know about before I came here. So we're ready. Got my wine, got my shade. <laughs> we're gonna venture off, see what Oshkosh Air Adventure has to offer. Once we were settled at the camp, we jumped on the shuttle to head towards the show, and our first stop was the ultralight field in the camp of one of the biggest aviation YouTubers, Trent Palmer and the Flying Cowboys. It was really awesome seeing all their planes in real life and meeting Trent. Super nice guy and took time to talk to everyone. Oh, absolutely. What's his name? Yeah. <laughs> We walked a little further in search of food, and we weren't disappointed with all the options. But keep in mind, they don't start serving alcohol until about 5 p.m. daily. Even though they take credit cards almost everywhere, it's worth noting that ATMs can be found all over the place. We also couldn't help but notice they have these cool washing stations where you can brush your teeth, shave, and get ready for the day. Again, not exactly rough camping. We spent the day just sort of wandering about and visiting random booths and peering into strange airplanes we had never seen before. The amount of airplane related vendors was really overwhelming. Pro tip is to look ahead at the event schedule and find any forums or presentations you want to attend. There's plenty of time to see airplanes, but some of these presentations are one-time events only.
And we found the Sierras booth, where obviously the most elite pilots hang out. And we got the VIP experience for owning 3 Juliet Mike, which was an air-conditioned room and some snacks, which was actually a really nice little break of the day. We also had a great conversation and some really nice free hats from one of our own Florida YouTubers, Jason Shepard from M0A.com. If you're looking for online flight training, that's your guy. It's also worth mentioning there were a lot of services offered, like a medical tent, mobility chair and scooter rentals, and an emergency airplane mechanic. I saw a lot of people using little camping bikes and segways around the South 40, but it's important to note that you can't ride them into the show unless it's a necessary mobility scooter. Another pro tip for people flying in, the same rules about no food and weapons apply at the gates of Oshkosh. So if you fly in with a knife in your pocket and leave the show grounds, they won't let you back in with it. It's also good to note that there are two 24 hour entrances to the show if you wanna leave the airport in the evening and come back. There's a daily air show that is going on most of the afternoon every day. So while you're exploring Oshkosh, there's a near constant and impressive sound of jets and high-powered insane airplanes overhead. Most people were lining up at the center field for the evening air show, but we headed back to see what the show looked like if you wanted to avoid the crowd and enjoy the show from your camp. Another unexpected surprise was before the night show began, there was an amazing Twilight F-22 Raptor demonstration. The insanely powerful engine sounded like a rocket blasting off, and it was a very cool, calm, and relaxing end to the day. Just listen to what this thing sounds like.
that's the end of our day two at Oshkosh. Um, and it's been amazing. It's been way better than I than I, I had hoped for. I got these. Re- well, I knew I knew in in like high schools, the cool thing is the sunglasses over the glasses. So <laughs> so I went with that today. Um, Very cool. I mean, you get, you get cool points for that. It's it's for pretty sure. serious yeah. with the Columbia shirt and the glasses over the glasses. It's pretty much it's it's been a, it's been an amazing day. But um, no, we just walked around the show and we looked at a lot of stuff. Did you have fun? Oh my god, it was amazing! I had so much fun. It was really we had a cool. Lot today. It was it's overwhelming, and uh, we'll we'll probably have a wrap up in the plane. But it's and like everyone says, it's bigger than you thought it was going to be. It's there's more stuff to do. Ah, it's. It's way over the top compared to... I, I, we went to Sun and Fun, which is the number two air show. And it's like, it's it doesn't... It's not even the same category of event, really. Like, there's air... There's, pl- there's, there's constant planes. Every time we film something, there's like a plane going on over overhead. Um, but tonight's the night show. Um, I don't really have a great camera for night stuff. And we're not too close to the show anyway. But we'll see what we get on the old camera. Um... Thankfully, there's a lot of really good photographers out there with other YouTube channels that probably captured a really solid night show. Uh, we're here just to show you kind of the camping experience, but we'll see what we get. Um, you excited for the night? I am. All right. Never, neither one of us has seen a night show yet. So no, excited. it should be cool. So to sum up camping at Oshkosh, if you're like us and you've never been camping before or camping in an air show, it was actually really easy. If you wanted to go bare bones, all you really need is a tent and whatever clothes and personal items you want to bring. You can buy everything else at the air show. They even had camping supplies if you wanted to go that bare bones. And really, you don't even technically need tickets in advance. Just fly in. You'll be shown a spot, and the show takes care of everything else. They couldn't have made it any easier and more enjoyable.